Hello there everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is you and again from Saya Tete Kimono. And today we're going to talk about this little guy. Officially it's called like Obi Dome Kanagu. I'm not sure about the pronunciation so I'll put it down below. But short is called an Obi clip. Like this. You basically tie the Obi and then you clip this around and put the makua on top. Well, I've got this one since about a year and I really, really love this. It makes my otaku really beautiful and it sits better always, even throughout the day. So I will show you how to do it, so let's go. Okay, so I've quickly tied one of my obi. I usually do this in the back, but to show you, I will just do it in the front instead. I've got the otaku section over here, holding it down with my arm quickly. This is the the first starter piece. What you want to do now is unclip it. And the one side with this attachment will go in the back. So this end wind up so. You stick this behind all the layers. You might, you might have to wiggle it. If this here, so when you stick the section through and clip it together, and I tie it. Pull it and it sits just like that. Make sure you have this section aligned with you so the obi makua will go on top of here. Then you grab your makua. going to do now is position it up here. I hope I can show you. Just pull it to the front and put it behind here. Like so. And there you have your otaku section and now you can just continue with tying your obi. But the main thing is that you really need to make sure it kind of creates a platform for your obi makura. Otherwise it will slip down and the main reason why I use this is to make sure the makura stays put on top so that it will last throughout the day. So that is basically how you do it. Turn this one up here. So there you go, this is basically how I use my obi clip whenever I, I tie an obi. This will basically work with a uh, Nagoya obi and a Fuku obi and usually it's one of the most basic knots that will cover up. Because if you do one of those knots that will show it, it I wouldn't usually recommend it. This overclip is quite convenient if you are in a hurry, if you are not very able to make OB knots, so that it just goes more quicker and easier. Well, I've been doing this Kitsuke experience for about four years, and ever since I started using it, uh, my life just gone. Yeah, it just became better. It's more. It looks more beautiful than when I didn't use it. So I thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.